Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome back to our channel, Smishek's Custom Baits. Uh, this is Rick Smishek. This is our third take tonight. Maybe one of these days we'll have to save these these uh, these uh, false starts, if you will, as as bloopers and just put up a blooper a blooper video. Uh, <laughs> that's some good ones. Uh, we're, today we're going to do the moon juice again. We're going to hopefully this is our last attempt. I think all we really needed to do was to um, lighten up the blue a little more. Uh, and normally, in all fairness, normally, I would just do that and then make the baits. Go ahead and make the baits right away. I wouldn't make three different videos of this. Uh, but um, we already have our plastics all heated up. So let's go ahead and we'll get the green pumpkin side ready first, since that's the easiest. That should be enough. That's a really nice green pumpkin color too. There we go. One of these days I'm going to get a second camera. I'm going to mount it up here so that we can see, you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better and we can just splice stuff in up as we like to do our editing. Um, one of these days. Okay, green pumpkin's ready. Most green pumpkin colors, um, it's not green pumpkin if it doesn't have some black flake in it. Well, this particular green pumpkin, um, it doesn't have any black flake. It's just straight green pumpkin. All right, let's go ahead and do the blue side of this laminate. All right. This is a really nice color of blue from, from dead on also. Go ahead and mix that in nice. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. It's a little bit translucent. Um, and most of the time we don't want that in our baits, so this makes it, even though it's a little too a little darker than what I want, it makes it a great candidate for just dumping some white into it to bring it back to where you want. Okay. See how that works out. Put some of that white in there. And oh, see, look at that. That is more about what that is a whole lot better right there. That's I guess. You know, that's what I'm. That's what I'm looking for here. Really, I didn't want it as. Light of quite as light of a blue as this, um, and I didn't want the thickness of the, I didn't want the extra viscosity in, in the plastic all this time either. Um, oh wait, let's go do this. I'm going to check the temperatures here in just a minute. We're going to put our glitters in. We're going to use our our disco purple disco, which you know what? I really liked that. This that's a nice. It's a really nice. Uh, glitter I think. Wipe up the spoon. Make sure we don't contaminate cross contaminate our glitters here. And then we're going back uh, a little bit more there. Go back with our silver holographic. off the knife there a little bit so we can see get a better idea of, oh yeah that's I think this is oh yeah baby oh yeah <laughs> this is gonna be good I think All right, let's check our temperatures so I know what uh, how much to heat and everything and this one's cooled off quite a bit and you get this it's here in December January February um, even in November last month, you get this a lot where the where the plastic salt cools off real fast, especially around the edges. 
on the outsides of the cup. Yeah, that was a 278 already. This one was probably not much better. Oh, good lord. Yeah, it's 298, so. I'm gonna go ahead and heat these back up, bring these back up to temperature, and uh, we'll be right back when that's done. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we had a little bit of a blooper again. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll save that one and put it in somewhere. Um, one, the left injector, the, the nozzle was plugged and it wasn't, uh, wasn't letting me fill the injector. And so there's the mess I made. All right, let's try this again. Oh, look at that, wonders never cease. When, when both your nozzles are cleared up, away we go. Okay, there we go. I'm going to fill the punch bug here, a little pressure, okay, done, and we're over, we're going to fill the chub bugs now, there we go, she's full, just a little bit of pressure for there, there, okay, alright, and now let's go fill this one, so fill, there we go, I think these, just looking at the, the top of this mold here, I think this is going to look fantastic. I think this is going to be exactly what we want to know. Finally, third time's the charm, right? All right. There we go. Is that? All right. And the nice thing about this stuff here, just let it, let it cool, peel it right off the table, remelt it, and use it again. All right. Now, let me go ahead and clean this up real quick. So I clean this up, we'll go ahead and start opening the mold. how this turned out. Oh, that's... I think you, you know what we're going to say here? It's going to pull these off. I think what we're seeing now about this moon juice is beautifully crafted. Let's check out these chub pugs. All the way down that screw, all the way down. Nice. This is this is moon juice right here. All of them. This is well, it's my version of moon juice. It's 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 basically impossible to get an exact match on on any colors a manufacturer's colors or whatever, unless you know what brand of plastisol they're using, um, 
what brand of tolerance that they're using and how much. Uh, it's, there's a lot of variables there, but this is hot. This is really hot. Um, <laughs> molds and they're all, um, all three of those were sitting over there so they're, they're holding the heat a lot better. Um, yeah, I think that these sticks are a winner too. Normally I would put, uh, I put salt on these sticks as far as making specific, making those specifically, which would lighten up the colors a little bit. Um, but other than that, I think that's a really nice color in a stick too. Uh, just to remind you, this is what we did previously. For our stick, uh, for, for our moonshots, this was our first attempt. Yeah, you can see how bad that will have, how badly that turned out, huh? As far as for moon juice. And then these, they really weren't, they really aren't a whole lot different than here, except that that blue is, is lighter. And uh, I just felt like this was just a little bit too dark, the blue. So that's how we got there. And we generally do that the, the first time. We, I generally screw it up pretty bad can't come up with, or, and come up with something different. Um, and then the next time I'm a lot closer, and then the third time I just fine tune and, and there we go. So uh, that's it for this video for today. If uh, you liked what you saw, hit the like button. Uh, share, just like your mom said, share with everybody you know. Be sharing with your enemies, you know. Uh, and we were, last I looked, we were at 45 subscribers. We just need five more so we can ship out this bag of sample baits. Um, and, and if you want to know exactly what's in the sample baits, that's the grapevine video we, where we, I lay it all out and show you what's in there. Um, but we'll do a raffle as soon as we. Uh, random drawing, whatever, uh, as soon as we get uh, get to that 50th subscriber. Uh, I'm working on uh, Instagram right now, getting followers there, going here. But I end up in Instagram jail repeatedly because I was following too many people too quickly. Okay, whatever. Um, how do they expect us to build the stuff, huh? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, but I guess this was the soft spammer, so there's a good reason for that too. But um, you can check us out on Instagram. Uh, soon I'll be working, up, or working on uh, Twitter as well. Um, uh, as always, you can go to our store, order whatever you'd like, and in fact, in like 10 minutes, I'm going to be doing a custom order. We're going to film that too, and that video is going to go up in a week. So, um, until then, tight lines and calm waters.